the situation in the land of Israel. It's easy to say Palestinians, Israelis, why are you doing this? Why are they doing that? It's very easy to speak in a general way that will prevent us from reaching the root and the source of the problem. Why? When you talk about a certain public and you gather them all under the same umbrella, you won't find no answer and no solution. No matter what you're gonna say, people will jump from the other end and gonna say, that's not me, he's lying, that's a lie, that's not the truth. First of all, about myself, when I'm talking, I'm talking with my own logic and counting my words on the teachings and deep learnings and my life experience and based on the truth that I recognize without having a certain agenda to want someone out of here or something like that. I have Arab friends and I am very friendly with people that are not like me. Also, when I was in the US, I was very friendly with people that were very different than mine in religion and in nationality. And here in Israel, it's the same thing. You go and you meet many people that are Druze, that are Arab, are Gentiles from Europe, from the US that are coming and visiting and you meet many people. And like you can see, the land of Israel is full of different people, great variety of souls and people that are coming here to visit or that are living here and have different mindsets. And me as a person, I don't have any agenda or will to kick out people of this land or whatever. That's not my thing. That's not my, my way of thinking at all. My mindset is that I desire people to live here in peace and that there will be no war and that there will be no arguments. And it is my nature for years. I was always like that. I was never willing, no war and no fights and no arguments. I was not into it at all. It's not my nature at all to fight. But when you find yourself in front of certain situations, in front of certain groups of people that for them the war is the solution, that for them bloodshed and killing innocent people is the solution for their, uh, for their life problems, then you're facing criminals. And when you face criminals, you need to treat them as ones. And you cannot treat them with honor and not start talking about giving them uh, what they des desire or what they claim to own. That's not the way and my approach at all. Bottom line, to reach and to come to the root of the problem, for that we need to define for ourselves in our own minds a difference between the groups of people in the land of Israel not based on their religion. We need to divide them in different way. We need to divide them in the nature of their behavior. If they will claim for the land because they're Muslims or because they're Jewish, you cannot give it not to them and not to them. If they will demand the land because the history, you will not be able to find a solution for that because those people will say, we were here first and the other ones will say, it's our legacy and we inherit it from our ancestors and on. Everyone will claim his claim and none of the answers will satisfy the other. So again, you're pushing yourself into a place of war and battle and, and arguments that are never ending. I think that the dividing should be between the good people with the good intentions to the bad people with the bad intentions. And there you will not find them arguing, that you will find them having an honorable relationship, appreciating each other for their faith. None of them will take a knife and start slaughtering innocent people in the street. None of them will start kicking people out of their houses because of their nationality. We will definitely express goodness and patience and love as good people. And all of that is standing in an opposition to the other group that we mentioned of the bad people. We don't care from which nation they're coming as long as their intention are evil and, and cruelty is their nature. We are not welcoming them here 
on the land of our ancestors and they don't have place among us and it's a waste of time even to talk about that city group so let's bless them to catch a hike and to fly on a kite and to find their way out of this holy land the holy land of israel the holy land of the hebrews the holy land that abraham inherit and been blessed with by hashem the maker of the universe and let us all shine our light with a lot of joy and love and attach ourselves to the truth with great intentions to bring complete redemption to the whole wide world and like we know the argument on the temple of hashem on the place of of, of the temple of hashem on the mountain that avraham was willing and ready to sacrifice the most precious sacrifice of them all his only child Yitzhak. The argument on that place is a silly argument because the Prophet himself said that in that day the Temple of Hashem that will be built will be called the house of prayer to all nations. So for the Muslims not to allow Jews on Harabait and for the Jews not to let Muslims to control Harabait, that reveals the ignorance and stupidity that makes that argument exist at all because in the first place that place is the place for the maker of the universe Hashem himself and all nations should come and worship and serve and love and express their gratitude to the master of the world in that place united and bond and attached to each other as one with no arguments and no dividing so may that day come already and that we will find true happiness in our days. Amen.